This is the first exhibition that I know of about artists interested in conspiracy. This is the first exhibition that I know of about artists interested in conspiracy as a subject. And it's as much of a live wire uh, as you would think it is. One talks a lot these days about conspiracy. We realized in the making of this show that it's something that's been around for quite a long time. The exhibition covers about 50 years of artist practice. The show is really an archeology span of these tropes from the 60s to the present. It's painting, sculpture, drawings, prints, video, installation. The show begins with the sort of platonic ideal of conspiracy art. Artists whose main concern is fact-finding, research. We have the work of the late Mark Lombardi, these extraordinarily beautiful flowchart-like drawings, infinitely complex webs of deceit and intrigue. We have Trevor Paglin revealing black sites, places where people are taken by the U.S. government for torture. Jenny Holzer, who is using text from real government documents in outrage. Hans Hacke, who used New York City real estate records in the 1970s to uncover the practices of slumlords. These artists were working as citizen journalists, kind of on the ground, alternative news. We have illustrations from the Black Panther newspaper by Emery Douglas. The Panthers at that moment were under siege from the U.S. government. Another moment we look at is the AIDS crisis. Silence Equals Death Project created this poster about how tens of thousands of Americans had died by the year 1987, and the president hadn't even said the word AIDS yet. The second half of the show is when we go down the rabbit hole and we look at a group of artists. We have Mike Kelly, Jim Shaw, Tony Orsler, Sue Williams, all friends from California Institute of the Arts. And they display a more phantasmagoric response to the ways in which facts maybe don't line up. They are plumbing the depths of the darkest aspects of American culture. You get these amazing dreamlike works that are uncovering the complicated truths about life in a democracy. All of the artists in the show are outsiders. They're operating on the margins, and that mirrors the topic, which is all about exploring the parts of our culture that are hidden or underground. Looking at works by these fantastic artists, we gain some more knowledge and some more power in confronting past history. I would like to bring back the idea of art as a way of jolting people to get rid of their preconceived notions and to hopefully question more.